dropped and we loaded another week right here on Respect My Grind Live. I'm excited. Shout out to all the people that's tuned in right now. Tonight should be uh, very delightful. Um, it's going down. I'm at home base, headquarters. No, I'm not in the depths of hell. <laughs> I know it looks look kind of crazy right now. Um, last week, for the people that tuned in, um, salute to y'all. We had China uh, on the show. She gave a lot of great pointers last week. We can touch on that in a minute. If y'all try, if you missed last week, you can definitely check it out on YouTube or you can check it out on videomixtv.com. Man, we all shout out to Shawa tuned in on the live. You already know what it is. Um, today we got Brian Hippo Light. This book right here. If you ain't got manifesting you in your life, every day you can use this book to gain some knowledge and get some keys, man. So, uh, we're gonna go into that a little bit later. Um, the attire that I got on, you see what it say, vote. Even though voting is over, thank goodness that the voting is over, Jesse. <laughs> it was getting it was getting dangerous, Jesse. I was I went to Walmart to buy a bulletproof vest and all. It's, just, it's getting crazy out here, man. It's just it's getting, getting super crazy, man. Huh? I say it's just getting started. Yeah, we just getting started, man. So it's a vote, man. Shout out to uh Raise Em Up. 2020 man they they went hard for the vote shirts and uh our melanin shirts and our black shirts and you know respecting the whole movement this ain't a black lives matter thing it's a it's a uh y'all need to vote get out because your numbers count because you see what happened last time uh you you didn't vote the right way you know what i'm saying whether it was uh because of the electoral or whatever the situation was man uh we had to put up with four years of madness Dr. the evil that's what I like to call them, Dr. Evil, because that's what it felt like. I was watching a, a sitcom or something, man. Like, this ain't been real these last four years, but we here. You know what I'm saying? Each and every Tuesday at 8 p.m., man, I'm your host, Mr. Grime Mode Chaos. I'm happy to be here back on Video Mix, man. Um, my week is kind of basic. Today happens to be one of my son's birthdays, so happy birthday to him. Tommy is now two digits. 10 years old. So that's exciting because he's keeping me young. I was starting to get gray hair until I got him. Now I got white hair. I just skipped all that. You know what I'm saying? So my weekend was basic, man. I've been playing Nintendo Switch. I just put it down. Trying to catch up with this guy with these Smash Brothers because he's been killing me in them games. So, you know, happy birthday to him. Mortal Kombat 2. That's addictive. And the only reason I played Mortal Kombat that much. It's because it sent me back to win. Jesse, you play a video game? Man, it's been it's been a real long time since I've been competitive. In oh game. man, yeah. I asked, I must have asked the wrong person, man, because I said something about video games, and he wasn't thinking about when he had slingshots, double dutch, and all that stuff. So I had to make a decision two years ago. I said I, I was I wanted to I had set a goal where I wanted to read a book every week. This is back in the Sega Genesis mm -hmm. days, so I was like, okay, do I read the book every week or do I go on and do the video games? And I, I did the book right. every week by, so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> that was actually a smarter move. That was more of an investment for the yeah. fact that you read a book every week because what? Mm -hmm. Cause um, I'm, 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 I tried I'm, to do I that. I an addictive personality, so I would have been playing them video games all the time, I know, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. That that's sort of that's sort of what my problem is now, cause I've been on that. And one of my sons, believe it or not, he autistic, man. My seven year old, I always talk about him. And he's really getting good at Mario Kart. Cause now he understands the mechanics. That he understands like it ain't just me watching it on TV. Um, okay, if I turn left, he turns left. I, something that simple, you know, um, has been helping him out. So I play Mario Kart with him, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, that's what's been going on with me. And uh, me laughing a lot at the uh, the Spot em, Got em dance. I don't know if you know about the Spot em, Got em dance, but we got we to gotta get some clips of that and put that on um, on video mix because that's been too funny. Watching Gilly the Kid and all these different people everywhere from Florida to all over the country, man, going hard on this whole Spot em, Got em dance. Bottom got him dance with the uh 
Yeah, it's on TikTok, man. And you know what's so funny? Um, he a Florida artist. I think they from like outside of Orlando, right? Some of them from Duval, Orlando, and they got this little movement going. And um, it's it's some street music, but then Spot 'em Got 'em got this little street song that's just funny, and everybody keep doing this little dance. I'm like, it's funny, man. You gotta you gotta go on TikTok to see it. But if you ask your daughter, she know exactly what it is. And this song, what they say, uh. It's to the song Beatbox. If you look up Beatbox and look up Spot 'em Got 'em, it's one long word too. No space. Spot 'em Got 'em. So yeah, man. That beatbox is going crazy right now. Um Yeah, find it, man. That junk is too funny, man. And other news, Jacob Blake. That's really annoying me, man. I kind of predicted it, and I knew without a shadow of a doubt that them police was going to get off, but they would not be charged. Um, that's really annoying me, man. And they said that uh, they feared that Jacob Blake was going to take the vehicle and kidnap his own kids. and It's just ludicrous, man. Yeah. Totally ludicrous. Shout out to DJ Peanut. Shout out to all the people on my life. Say it again. It's so hard for people to do the right thing. You know, shooting the guy in the back seven times and all this. I mean, it gets, it, it, it's outrageous. You know, and those folks, those folks in D.C. Right. were scared to fire one bullet. I mean, only one bullet was, only one shot was heard around the world that day. And that lady got caught that shot in her throat. For trying to break through the thing, right? See how many bullets they held on to that day. <laughs> man, crazy. listen, man. If you want to control yourself, I don't care what nobody say. Shout out to Death. Shout out to everybody that need this shirt, man. This shirt is fly, man. Shout out to my people on live. I'm dealing with the live. I'm dealing with y'all. Um, it really, it really blows my mind how they can they can stick it in court and say like the uh. The Blake situation, they had no control because he didn't have any control. But you had what twenty, thirty thousand people that was at the Capitol, mm -hmm. and we we we're dealing with domestic terrorism. And you mean to tell me y'all controlled yourself and escorted them around, mm -hmm. and didn't even bend with with uh, and no white glove treatment, right? White the the real museum hand treatment. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm like, like man, flag up in there, you know, you're like, wow. Right. Man, they gotta do something about then, outlawing the Confederate flag or, or having that be a that you know that those those are the that, that's the last group of insurrectionists was those cats, the Confederate cats. I mean, it's, it's crazy. That, that is one of the biggest violations to me, man. I'm like, how, bro? Like that, like black people out of the equation, okay? We call it a racist flag, whatever the case. Just take it out the equation. You know, with history, it doesn't belong in this day and time. Even you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like for the fact that you know what it was fought for. Um, I'm like, how do y'all let that go, man? That's crazy. And 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 you know what's so funny? I seen this black woman that explained to this quote unquote racist uh, white woman. Why that that flag is a problem, and you know she didn't even know the history. She just was <laughs> raised a certain way in a certain area in a certain time, and never even dug the history of. Mm -hmm. So a I'm like, come like on, that. but but the, the symbolism is it's just so. I mean, America America tried to get it right after the Civil War, you know, you know when Reconstruction and all these things was going on, but it, it just it's got so wrong because you there's no country where. The people who lost the war somehow try to come out on the right side of the argument. You know what I mean? So you, I, don't, I don't think you can right. go to Germany and they're going to have the, the Nazi flag and say, well, this is just my heritage. You know, this is my family. You know, this is just kind of the way we grew up sort of thing. I was like, you know, that, no. Because what really happens or what normally happens in these civil wars is the side who loses, you really lose. You lose your life, you know. Right. Because you, you 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 know you tried to tried to have treason against the country, you know, and, and those are those are discussions that people are not really uh, wanting to want to 
talk about it. That's that's what's really good. And then you're not having this discussion about a statue. I mean, I, 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 let me tell you this real quick. Robert E. Lee was one of the most decorated so students at the West at West at West Point, right? And at what? West Point, they have nothing honoring uh, Robert E. Lee at West Point. Even Robert E. Lee said that they they should not have these statues out there. So it's just it's just ridiculous. That's how all this foolishness continues to kind of you know live under rocks and places and now it's, it's out all for people to see because i can't think that's the most you know that's that can't be representative of, of folks that that wasn't a, those people like they was having a party you know what i'm saying they, 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 right. look, they didn't look like they was on some political agenda thing they was just there to just cause some havoc it wasn't even party. structured well <laughs> it wasn't even structured you know well i was looking at it and it just looked like pure what my name is straight <laughs> chaos and i'm like bro how in the world <laughs> Are y'all just running them up? Yep. And then, you know, it's so funny not to even get, I don't even want to get too religious, but I say, how many of these same people are out there saying that they're Christian? Oh, come on. You know what I'm saying? On, and God told y'all to go out there and do that craziness and, they, and, they, and, they and threaten that. police. And, Jesus. They, got, they, they have like a Republican Jesus or something. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, it's not a know, New man. Testament. Yeah, it's just... It's just so crazy, man. I like, I'm. I hope the world kind of, kind of stabilizes soon, man. Because this is just, this is foolishness. It's just crazy. Where do you stop? If you don't stop these fools from doing this stuff, you, okay. You want somebody say, I don't, I don't need to stop at the stop sign, man. Damn that. That's not my. I, I got my rights. Why well, I got to stop at the stoplight? Right. You know. I mean, where do we stop? They starting to take it further and further in their own hands mm-hmm. to the point where it's like, what's the purpose of law anymore? Yeah. And people could say anything in their own hands and say, and and re, rewrite the agenda mm-hmm. and rewrite the amendment to the point where it's tailor made for them specifically. Yeah. So that's craziness in itself, man. I don't I don't know how we gonna get past that part, <laughs> but we we gotta hurry up and do something because the 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 height of security I've never seen the height be this high up when it comes to security. Um, for a transition of power, mm-hmm. not even with Obama. And here, look at look at Obama's background, ethnicity, mm-hmm. and his race. And we wasn't that threatened. The only time I was ever threatened or nervous about Obama when when he got out, I think with Michelle at the limo, mm-hmm. I was like, "Bro, you're not bulletproof, right? Get back in the car. Get back." <laughs> when he yeah, started walking down, what was that Pennsylvania Avenue? What was it? I said, no, Mr. President, please get back in. No, you ain't safe. I had ran and put my head, my whole body around the TV like this. Just, <laughs> no, no. Remember what happened to Mark? <laughs> Use your mind, bro. <laughs> at least, at least let me get you, let me get you in the house all the way first. Like, <laughs> bro, you know, I, I've never been so nervous in my life. And here it is. The way I felt then when Obama was walking outside that vehicle, I feel a hundred times more nervous now. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm going to be in my house dressed in army fatigue like I'm part of uh, Ghetto Gangs and Shawa. Ghetto Gangs and Shawa, nobody them Ghetto Gangs, the old rap mm-hmm. group I was in. Well, we used to wear uh, uh, army fatigues all the time, like we was no limit. I'm like, man, I don't know what's going to happen. But something gonna happen, man. And then this is the first time I heard Trump speak. And since all this took place, and he was like, oh, more, oh, they're on a witch hunt again. I said, wait, what? Yeah, man. They're on a witch hunt right now? This, this Bro, you literally had people run off into the Capitol. Mm-hmm. And now this is fake news, too. I'm like, this man's psycho, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just, where does it stop? But this man been feeding people these lies. It's almost like a like a mantra, because with a mantra, you know, you're giving yourself positive affirmations and all that stuff. But just, but I think the negative work the same way. You just tell people over and over and over right. and over and over and over. And over. You know, right. you, you get tired of hearing the, the the term fake news. You get just tired of hearing it. You know what I mean? Right. It's, 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 it's just bananas, man. They li- they've literally changed a, a whole bunch just by doing that repetitively. And he's been so good at it. I don't even think he's trying to be good at it. It's just yeah. anything that he, you know he doing? I'll check this anything out. that he, he doesn't this? want to do. Yeah, like when dude backed up, that's crazy to me, man. Yeah, 
Yep. Look at they that. Were say, they were saying when he came up the steps, when he looked, when he looks here to the left, they're saying that that's right. actually where you know th there was a couple doors like right into the Senate chamber. So if the people would have, right. you know, if these people would have just like separated and some people went all different ways, they wouldn't have had no chance. They, and they literally they, wanted him down. They're not bro. smart terrorists. They're terrorists now, but they're not smart at the same time. Look at them. Come on, dog. Wouldn't some people go the other way? Let's see what's down this way. You know, they just following. Right. They don't know where they at. You know. Right. But I still, and look, I still and think look they how scared he is. Some bullets, though. I'm sorry. I don't know if this man. I don't right. know if this man got up under his shirt. Right, he he, he moved too much. But if, they knew they knew what time it was. Some put their hands up when they saw the police, and they put them back down. You know right. what I'm saying? They been on probation. They know they know what time it is. Uh, <laughs> Would you say they was on probation? <laughs> when people, when right. people got home, did you see how how you know, some of these people on the on the way to the on the way home they was getting snatched off of airplanes and all kind of stuff. They were you know right. they, they had you know they got them on no fly lists and you know it's oh yeah right. it's coming. The dude who was, who was they called the last. I, I, they, I see that they just called the last dude the guy who was dressed like uh, what I told my kids he dressed like uh um he dressed like the main character from the crew, um the one who had the uh <laughs> who had the uh the uh <laughs> I can't even think of it. He had the, he had it looked like a monkey, but it's a uh a sloth that was tied around itself. Uh, his weight oh, his really? waist is a belt. It looked just he looked just like the dude from the um cruise, man. But they just called him uh yesterday, man, and I'm like, um, his background's not checking out too well. So a lot of these people they look like they got mental issues, man. Yeah, those are Trump you mean to tell me that? radicalized Trump supporters. They're not they're not the most stable people. You can just see that, man. You look like you was you right. you even thought you was at the uh, the uh, the Monday Night Raw match somewhere in, in, in the south, in the deep south. You know what I'm saying? Biloxi, right. Mississippi. <laughs> I'm talking about real trailer park. Exactly. Real trailer park action now. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I cannot believe what I'm watching, bro. And then you know what? It's, it's amazing how uh, American, America, uh, we tend to point the finger at other countries that, that have these same issues, and we let it happen to us. But oh, yeah. you let Trump tell it. Why he didn't send the National Guard this time at? Uh, all all the stuff that happens in different states. And remember when he was in, uh, enforcing the curfew, mm -hmm. especially down here in Miami. Remember when he was saying that he was about to send the National Guard down here, and I was like, "Yep, I ain't even going on. I ain't even checking the mailbox." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, "Hey, them bill collectors gonna have to email me, boy, because I ain't going to the mailbox." The way he was making it sound, mm -hmm. it was like about to be a third world country. But I never heard him put a threat on nobody related to this situation. And I was like, man, this is amazing, man, how when the tables turn, the rules don't, they keep moving the goalposts. They changing the rules, man, and that's whack, man. Shout out that's, to Fame, shout out to Chucky Block. That's Trump one on yeah. one, man. He, he like to stay in court and keep on suing people and doing all this stuff to the, right. to the very end. That's, that's, this man, he, he haven't changed one bit, you know. Right. But you better know that uh, his day is coming. I don't care how much you push things back; it's still going. He's still going to have his day in court. Oh yeah, because he should be charged for that lady murder, though. Yeah, I mean that that impeachment. I mean, you know that, that that's. That, I'm, I'm sure. That, I, I think they're trying to keep the impeachment thing real easy because these senators, the one that's that's resisting. I I was real disappointed that Carlos Jimenez he actually voted to to, to uh, continue on with the. With the electoral college challenge, even after the the really? whole uh, yeah situation, yeah, I was a little oh right, right, that. right. I, thought, I really thought he was a more uh, matter of fact person than that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of kind of falling in line, right? I guess they, he must have to do the do the uh, the blood brother ceremony when he got there or something to, to DC because he just went went right with right. that with that nonsense. So, but he's the, that definitely the the, um, the impeachment is going to happen. But impeachment is just like an indictment, though. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It, it doesn't mean right. that you're going. That he's going to be. Uh, well, he, luckily he's going to be out of office. They're trying to. I think the reason they're trying to go forward with the impeachment because there's other consequences for the impeachment. You know, he's going to lose his pension. Right. He can't run for federal office again. You know, and, and, and several other you know sanctions. They we got all that, Jeffy. We 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 got all that though, man. We we know he can't. 
there ain't gonna be no part two because no different when he said, "Oh yeah, four years he gonna run again." I was like, "Nah, that's not happening." Shout out to Coco. Shout out to Kryptonite uh, Queen. Nah, that's 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 just ridiculous though. Mm. That's ridiculous, man. Like I just well, father time I just feel like his, I'm glad Donald Trump ain't like uh, right. forty. You know, what I'm saying? No, time, right. time is on our side. This ain't gonna last forever. I just, I just wish uh, they let Pence be the president for like four days at least. They might, <laughs> like, cause, cause this, this here, man, we need a little break, man. And then, and then I heard on the news one of the, uh, not the senators, but one of the uh, Republican chicks, she was saying that, oh yeah, that's gonna further divide the country if you uh. Uh, change the uh, position of power to Pence. I'm like, bro, he already did that. <laughs> Didn't he just do that? The you man know, just did yeah, that. That's the part. Like, oh, just just let him go. Just let him go. You know, I'm like, no, you, you got right. consequences, man. You know, I think if you let your children uh, get away with doing things with no consequence, come on, man. You, you got that's not that's right. that, that's the wrong thing. Just let somebody get away. Oh, just because you're the president, you're not above the law. You know, if anything, right. you're, you're held to a but, higher esteem one, than anybody else. But one thing about it, Obama could have never. Obama could have never did all. He could have never did this stuff before this, much less now. I'm like, come on, man. There's no way in the world that, uh, man, shout out to you, man, Jewel. There's no way in the world that Obama could have got this far. Not with all the stuff that Trump just did in his right. four years. Not at all. Nah. Not at all. And, he, and these folks, and these and folks still voting for him. That's the thing that just puzzles me. Is like, how does anybody even vote for this man? You know, I can understand those, all those people that was out there doing all that foolishness voting for him. But like, why does a, a rational person vote for this man? Is your four hundred one k that important? You know what I'm saying? That you, you know, I, I don't understand that. That's hold on. That that fame said. Uh, Trump just showed us a snippet. A way he can make happen. So get ready for a, a civil or a race war. And that's the scary part that, uh, mm -hmm. not scary as in fear, but scary as in there's a lot of people that you say like extremists and radicals that'll really get out there and hurt some people, man. Because mm -hmm. can you imagine everybody that, that, that were out there? It's some people that was armed. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And, and, and we haven't got to that later. Arm. Right. The, mm -hmm. the, the first, can you imagine that? It's a lot of people that ran off that was armed. Mm -hmm. So imagine if they start shooting up and bang, bang, shooting at the police. Because the police cocktails. gave them ample time to do it. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. Yeah, That's crazy. It's just, it's Here it is, a black man can't even get out of We can't even get out of a car like this. When I get shot exactly. in the back seven times <laughs> and nothing happened. And here it is. <laughs> Trump let a whole mob go in there and it's like, hey, 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 you guys want to think about this. Come on, man. Come on. Come on I never guys. seen nobody with their hand on their waist. None of that. Yeah. None. And yeah, that's, you know, look, look at that. That's same, crazy. It, it, that same old. It's like, it's like they just let these look at come, on, come on through. Y'all look at this. Y'all look at my man. So as soon as my man got through, every time somebody got a little breakthrough, Look at how many of them pushing the police. Ay, mm -hmm. caramba. Ay, papa. That's, that's, Did you see this? You can't say my, are you supposed to say, well, I, I felt like my life was in danger. You right. Know, shoot somebody, right? Hey, right every right? time they did something, the first time I seen some of those videos, I just kept cringing. I'm like, bro, somebody going to get shot by the police. Not one person was, but one person was shot by the police. That's crazy. And it was Only thousands. Two. Yep, yep. And if you, I'm like, man, I hope if you I hope. get a picture where the, where the chick got shot. You had cats out there. They was in like tactical gear themselves. And I, I could. It looked like somebody had a right. gun. The ones, the ones that were like trying to right. give her aid. It was like two of them that came up the steps. That was like that. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm... yeah, it is sad. That's uh, the Don just said that's sad. That is sad, man, because I I'm stuck on the fence. You know, that's a human life. But then you know what blew me, and we can start running to some video, is when um they start showing all the video footage from what she was angry every day until yeah. she got to the Capitol. Yeah. Every day she was so mad. That girl was just mad. Yeah, she was very passionate. Right. Like, yeah, that means yeah, that means she was very. radicalized, bro. 
she was radicalized. That's I mean that that does happen. The same right. same thing, same thing that makes makes somebody over in another part of the world strap on a explosive on their body and go blow themselves. Right. It's the same. It's the same thing, bro. It's the same thing. I mean, exactly might, might be different same, philosophy right. or different thing, but it's the same. You know, it's the same. It's the same thing that kind of takes over someone's you know existence. It's crazy, man. Right. Right, ask the stuff videos, man. Worth we got Brian just logged on, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna get him straight and go ahead and uh, get yep. back to. Uh, man, hey, he gonna he gonna be doing most of the talk in this session. My homie Brian, hey man, Jesse, you gonna love this guy. Let's get to some videos. We are gonna come back with Brian. And if they don't got a manifest you, I got a manifest you. Hey man, manifest you. <laughs> hey man, you know what it is, man. Shout out to that boy Yak, free Kodak Black like yesterday. I'm my nephew, know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it feels good to be back on TV, all the way on Video Mix, each and every Tuesday, Respect My Grind Live, I'm excited tonight, because I got one of my partners, you know what I'm saying, he decided to take off from his school of hard knocks, his education uh, format that he's doing, is based on this book right here, this is how we gonna elevate people, you see this, this is how we gonna elevate, this is how we gonna heal, Every black man should have this, and then you should buy it for your black woman. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of tools, a lot of gems, a lot of time that got invested in here, and I love how smart this guy is. He's a boss. He's an entrepreneur. He's an author. He's an artist. He's a visionary. He's a leader, and he's somebody that I respect. None other than Mr. Brian Hippo Light. Let's check in with my homie, Herb. Hey, what's going on, Let's brother? How you doing, King? Salute! <laughs> Salute, brother. Great to see you. Manifest University hey. in the building, man. Florida, y'all already know. You already know. You look a real, you look a real uh, revolutionary with that flag in the background, brother. That's that's <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's a, you see you see what it is, man. It's it, it's nothing but man. revolutionary. Thoughts, revolutionary programs and systems being implemented, man. We gotta, we gotta take back what was stolen from our ancestors and give it to our descendants. So, you know, that's the vibe, that's the mood, that's the motion every day, man. I appreciate you having me on here, bro. This is, you don't even understand. This how how big it is for me to just for you to share your platform with me. Yeah, you know I mean, it's, it's 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 definitely a long time coming. It's, a, it's 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 special for me. So, thank you, man. But listen, um. Now, nah, I accept it, but, man, it's only right, man. Me and you have been building um, um, a little portion of quarantine all the way up until now, and it's about to get, the building is going to get higher, it's going to get stronger, it's going to get wider, it's going to touch more people. Absolutely. I, like, you one of them people, they say I talk a lot, but this one of them episodes, I want to do the least amount of talking because I need you. Okay. Uh, my my followers, my fans, my supporters, my viewers, my inmates that's locked up right now to understand why I have you here and why I respect you so much because me and you got at least a decade between us. So I gave you an introduction, but I want you to give your, your own introduction. Forget me. Tell them who you are. Man, no, no, pro no problem. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Florida boy, Tampa, Florida representative. I think the only thing you left out of my on that on that bio is that I am a, a full time father. That's the thing that comes first, you know what I mean? So, a full time father, serial entrepreneur, solutionary. I'm known as the Manifest Mentor. I'm the author of this book, Manifesting You: 111 Keys to Unlocking Your Divinity. I'm the founder of Manifest University. Some people call it the healthiest place on earth. It is a uh, a family environment where we uh, elevate, grow, heal, focus on just getting to the next level. Accountability, elevation, all that good stuff. Um, I just released my second book, you know, so I'm, I got multiple businesses that that uh, that I care for and take care of, and I'm just all about educating and showing our people how they can maximize their potential, how you can monetize your potential and the things that's already in front of you and that you already have the capability for so that you can be more effective and efficient and prolific. You know what I mean? And do the things that you were sent right. to mention to do. So I'm um I'm a world changer. Right. 
So we 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 gonna walk through we gonna walk through that journey. But this book right here that I'm holding, that is very valuable. Let's do that. And not it's Let's very inexpensive. And very inexpensive for what you're gonna gain. It's an investment. So now talk to me about this. What inspired this book right here, manifesting you? Walk walk us through it. Okay. So see, I'm a serial, serial again, serial entrepreneur. I got I gotta pop this bottle of Bel Air because you, you already know this is it's it's a celebration for me. So uh come on. This got this definitely gotta be a part of it. Shout out to you. To the king for bringing me on here and allowing me to uh, do this with y'all tonight. So okay, 2019. I'm busy working on my construction business. I have a home renovation and repair company. I'm busy building that. Um, I have a food truck and an event lounge, and I'm focused on these three things and being a full time father. Now I keep hearing okay. this voice inside me telling me. You need to write this book. And, uh, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I've been a writer my whole life. Um, I've been a water writer since I, was in, uh, since I was seven years old. I, my first publication was in the second grade. Um, I've always known that writing was a superpower that I had, uh, an ability that, you know, the divine powers g gave me uh, to take my thoughts and articulate them in a way that other people related to them. Um, and so I kept hearing this voice saying, you need to write this book. You need to write this book. And I'm, you know, doing my thing, grinding and aligning. And then towards the end of the year, that voice got so loud that it, it went from a, like, you need to do, you need to write this book to you need to write this book. Like you need air, right. like you need, you know what I mean? Like this is a necessity. You need to do this. So, uh, December, 2019, I stopped everything that I was doing, um, and went to the Manitou Mountains, which is uh, in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's this beautiful place called the Garden of the Gods. And I sat there for about two weeks and I wrote this book, um, or I formatted this book and figured out how to, how to present it. A lot of these were life lessons that I had written down in my journals and various things that I was compiling for myself just as a reference guide. This didn't right. work when you did it before. This Because it feels like a journal. Forward. It, fe it right. feels like yeah, a journal. Like that's an that's instruction that's manual, right? Yeah, a a absolutely. It was is it's kind of a a plumb line for me, very in, in in various stages of life. Some of these things, and um, so I sat down at the end of end of December two thousand nineteen, and I put this book together. I put it out a year ago yesterday, January eleventh two thousand twenty. Um, right now I liken this story to this being my art. Uh, if we relate to the story of Noah and the art, because that voice was telling me to do this, not knowing that this, you know, I didn't know that this flood was coming. I didn't know that COVID was coming. COVID was about to come and wow. triple my other dreams of income, you know? And, wow. And, and since I listened to it, this built this art of digital real estate and intellectual property for me. And so when, when the, everything stopped with the construction, when, the food truck got shut down because we're not because no one's outside. Wow. No one's renting from the right. event space. But intellectual property was going through the roof. Digital real estate was going through the roof. You know, I started creating um, on other online stores just to capitalize on what was happening at the moment. But people were sitting right. at home and looking for a better way to live, to be, to exist, to understand themselves, and giving knowledge on self mastery and um, and perseverance. It's definitely the move. So it wound up being the art that saved my family, you know, for me and wiped away in the flood economically. And uh, and so I'm very grateful for it. And, and it started this movement that we got going on right now. And and the movement has a name. So let me let me get there. The movement is just not a movement because everybody says movement, but you actually got it. Mm. We still got on there, right? Yeah. We 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 got a movement called Manifest University. So now what made Manifest that start? University. Yeah, that, right. so that started. Um, so this came, this book came out with a uh, a mini course, a five-part mini course that you would get when you purchase the book from BrianHippolite.com. And from then I doubled back and hit up everyone that got the five-part mini course and said, all right, now I have a full 36-class course that talks about wow. everything that's in this book. 
and it, it elaborates and, and explores even further the things that we talk about in this book, a full 36 class course, and I made that available. Now, from the people who got into this course, it just created a community. Before I knew it, there was just groups of people getting together saying that, hey, do y'all you, you want to go over this course together? Y'all want to do these classes? So I <laughs> started to actually formulate yeah. Something like a book club. this community that was building. And now, and now, now Manifest University is a full subscription service. It's a dollar a day at the moment, so that's $29.99 a month. And we have daily elevations. We do Zoom calls every day. I teach a class every Thursday night, either on self-mastery or on, or on economic empowerment. Um, but it's really big on accountability. And so I've been able to take everything that I've learned and allow it to work for me and to break it down into steps and give it to the rest of my tribe. So now everyone got that link in my bio conversation because everyone's found a, a product that they can create, a service that they can have, and think different things that they can wow. do to make themselves more effective, um, you know, in the in, glo in the global market space. And and that's that's really what it was about because we don't got no black power, we don't have black economics. So we got to teach that. Right. And you can't you can't feed a man's soul and keep his pockets broke. So I can keep telling you all day or oh, everything that's in these 190 keys is gonna make your mind and your life better, but if I can't teach you how to financially make your life better, you're going to keep doing the things that's allowing you to, to, to survive. I'm trying to teach my people how to thrive. And that's what we, that's, that's what we're doing at right. Manifest University. Before I, yeah. before I ask the next question, Jesse, uh, how we looking on time? We good? Um, you said accountability, right? Um, absolutely. How, how 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 important is that within the community? Oh man, it's a it's a missing it's a missing link in a lot of our lives. So it's a it's super important in, in our accountability. A lot of us don't have personal accountability within ourselves, so we don't even know how to deal with accountability when it comes when it's coming from another person. You'll take it as somebody hating, you know, or you'll take it as right. you could be triggered and just not not want to receive it. But that accountability is going to hold you to a standard. And that's just something that's a foreign right. practice in, in most of our relationships and within our community. Um, the deficit of that, though, is that it holds you back from accomplishing things that you want to. Most of the people that come to me as a life coach and as a manifest mentor, all they really need is accountability. All they need is for someone to go over their goals and say, all right, well, this is what you're going to do to get from point A to point B. I'm going to check in with you next week or in two weeks to see how that went. And I got people that right. uh, have been in Manifest University for about six months and have accomplished things they've been wanting to do for almost 20 years because they just didn't have the environment wow. around them that allowed them to create in a safe space and, and someone to hold right. them accountable to what it is that they said they wanted to do. Right. So we're teaching how to do that That's and how deep. to have it in a healthy way. That iron sharpens iron idea, most of us have never even seen it in real time without it being in a toxic environment. So... That's what Manifest University is, and and man, it's it's I'm honored to be a part of it, let alone to be at the forefront of it. So it's a, it's, it's a really dope place yeah. to be. So salute to that, and you and you and, and and I guess the accountability falls back on you too, because you know the second book is out, is out. Uh, teach them first. Talk about it. Teach them young. Teach them young. That's the sec. That's the second book. Teach so them young. Yesterday. My bad. Oh, no, no right. problem. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the second book that released yesterday on my birthday. Um, so Happy that birthday, is 111 King. Keys to Building right. Phenomenal Being. So over the past year, as a manifest mentor, I've spoken with so many adults that have said things like, I wish I knew this earlier. I wish someone told me when I was younger. Had I known, I would have, you know? So there's definitely this deficit of knowledge knowledge base and understanding that we have that we obviously attain a little bit later in life and everyone seems to have this projection that if they knew it earlier the outcome would have been different now a bit another deficit in our culture is that we don't plan for we don't plan ahead we be living for right now most people is living for this right. weekend when our opposition is planning three four hundred years in advance so as you start to look down the line and plan down the line you'll realize that if you want to change tomorrow, you need to be planting those seeds right now. You know what I mean? Right. There's a Chinese proverb right. that says the best time to plant an apple tree is 20 years ago. The second best time to plant an apple tree is today. So if you want to, you know what I mean? Like right now, what I'm doing with this book, Teach Some Young, wow. is 
planting the seeds right now so that in 20 years our children would know the things that we didn't even learn in our 20s that we had to wait to right. get in our late 20s and, and, and early 30s to start making stuff make sense you know so right. it's giving them giving them early what we learn late power tools power understanding of self knowledge yourself understanding relationships Understanding about money, just simple things, man. I grew up without a father and always felt like there was so much information that other young men growing up with a dad was naturally getting. And, right. And and this because book of that the, the, the premise right. of the book speaks on it because this book is really dedicated to all the children who grew, who don't have a male in the house, a male to uh, you know to raise them, and especially those who don't have that male because of other males. That you know we we made bad decisions and that lead to someone not being there to raise their children. So right. that's who the book is dedicated to, and I'm and this book is speaking to to those. It's just like you know the difference between these two books is this comes from that unlearn and relearn mindset. This is speaking to adults who probably have to rewind something and then see it again through a different lens. Where at the tone right. of the second book is speaking to someone just in a younger mind frame where we could give you this game right now. And if you understand this right. concept right now, if you understand how to deal with yourself, deal with the universe, pick the right friends, if you understand how to use money, if you understand that wealth is not, you know, a, a dollar amount, but rather the accumulation of sustainable assets, then you're going to go about your path a whole lot differently versus chasing a bat, you know? Right. But it's just wisdom, straight wisdom. Broken down in a, in a way that that the young can understand it, and plus the average adult is is running around here with on the eighth grade reading comprehension level anyway. So it's broken. It's going. It's going to bring a lot of adults up to speed, <laughs> right? As well. So, so I have the hard copy of this. Um, when right. when can we look forward to the hard copy of that? Uh, they're being printed right now. I'll have them in my hands by the end of the week. And I'll have them in okay. the mail by the end of next week. Uh, so thus right. far, uh, this was actually my first product with a pre-sale. So everyone that participated in the pre-sales are, are, are now getting the uh, e-books absolutely free, uh, just as a thank okay. you gift from me. Um, so everyone is going to be getting an email with a link and you know and all that good stuff. But but it's available it's at brianhippolite.com. They're available on Amazon. Dot com, but obviously, if you do it through Brian Hippolyte, you get some of the bonus, like the video mini series that comes along with it. My five part personal development course that's just going to help you elevate your mind. That's dope. Yes, sir. And, and, super, and, I'm, and I'm you know, excited. this is what I this, this is what I like too about this situation. Like with the manifesting you is it's a continuous read. That's that's the word I wanted to throw at it. It's not like, um, like if you read it, every time you re go through this this book, which you, it's a study guide anyway. Let's be real. It's a life guide. But, yeah. But every time you read it, you're going to catch something different. It's like one of them good movies. And you like, yeah, you might, you yeah. might have loved like uh, key number 31 and key number 76. But then by the time you read it again, it's going to switch. It's going to be like key yeah. number three stood out a little bit more after reading it the next time or whatever the case may be. Is that the effect that you right. went for in the second book? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and the reason that it's like that is because each one of these keys came from real energy. It wasn't just I was just writing something down because it sounded good. This was a trial and error in my life. And I recorded it. Mm -hmm. And then I went back and looked at this principle of his understanding that I had and then had a conversation with myself about how to like as if I was explaining this to you know to to a little homie or one of my friends daughters right. you know like just how would how it break that down so the energy and the attention is trapped in those pages and what I learned from putting out this first book is that that's what's transferring that's exactly what's trans the pain that went into some of the lessons that's in this book is what people experience when they actually read it you know what I mean? I, I tell people all the time now that if you put your pain inside your passion, you're going to create something that heals people. And that's why right. the, it is, it's the energy is just tra transferable the, the way that it is. So in, in the second book, we, it's definitely there in the same fashion. We definitely going to talk on that and we definitely going to play around with uh, the music topic 
Y'all stay tuned. We're okay. going to cut to some videos. I'm with the homie uh, Brian Hippo Light. Man, I'm really excited yeah. to have you in my presence, King. Let's get to some videos, though. Let's do it. Grind TV, you already know. Oh, chaos. Still chaos. <laughs> hey, man, I love that song just for the fact that he threw all the little medicine inside the jello, man. You got to catch it, man. And that's one of the probably the least played songs of Jay Z, but the most knowledge. You feel me? He had a Nas Escobar moment. You know what I'm saying? When he went to talk about credit. And boy, don't die over the neighborhood. This your mama written. You know what I'm saying? Like, like don't do it. Yeah. Every day, we got to deal with the fact of the stats of our young black male dying over a neighborhood or a bandana that costs $1 from the corner store, from the A-Rab, or the Asian, or the, right. or the flea market, or this store. You paid a dollar for that bandana and you died over it. Boy, look at here. That one, the, the cheapest thing that okay. happened to you before you died was that bullet. But the most expensive Man. part was the lives that you affected. But don't get me on that. Man, we gotta we gotta stop killing our own over blocks that we'll never own, bro. Like that's right. It's just it's kind of productive to the movement. It's kind of productive to us saying that we want soldiers for this revolution, but we're willing to go out there and and dis and dismember ourselves, man. Like that's don't even get me right. started on it because I can talk about that all day. No, that's but what that's, we what, that's, that's what, what you're here is. for, you know what I mean? But one one yeah. thing about okay. it, since we're on the topic of music, um, people just think you a revolutionary. People just think you just, you know what I'm saying, like an author. People just think you, you know, the professor at this school, but they don't know your history <laughs> and how when I first met yeah. you on a mic, you know what I'm saying, at the open mic, so now you put out a, a good amount of music that means something in content that has, that's not just a whole bunch of icing or cake. Right. It has some meat. Some meat and potatoes, man. So let's talk about meat and potatoes. You know, this guys right don't. There. Yeah, man, guys don't sit on man-made thrones. Yeah, talk about that's it. the that's that's the move that's the movement as well, man. So that's that's and that's my single that's out right now. It's also the name of my new album um, that I'm working on. That you definitely got to be on. Got to be like I can't. I can't put this out without you. All you got to do is send it. Stop playing with me, man, because this will turn into a real battle. We don't have to make that happen, Chaos. It ain't hard. We don't got too many Florida Kings doing what we're doing right now with the mindsets that we got. So we definitely got to come and do something major for the state, do something major for for the time, man. So definitely. But that's it. But that's that's the – it's not just the title. It's the understanding. Guys don't sit on man-made right. drones, you know. A lot of the things that we're out here doing that that we grew up idolizing and we grew up sitting down on, that's not for right. us. That's for them. Guys don't sit on man-made right. drones. We're not going to jet ourselves and lower ourselves to to sit and rest on these things that other people told us that we had to that we had to care about that we had to put up on high and say these things were utmost important. Now we understand what's most important is you know the time freedom invested in our invested in our community invested in our children. We, under, we understand that elevating ourselves so that we can provide better and teach better, knowing better and showing better right. is really what's more important versus, you know, all the other things that we was out there doing. So it's it's really, you know, it's it's a soundtrack from going from um, from that N word to the G word from a, to a God, you know, is that, okay. that that's really what it is. And. And so it's a piece of my journey, but it's also... I like that video, back. too, man. You look like you, you had a Nipsey Hussle moment, but the winter yeah. version where you had to go somewhere by yourself on the top of a mountain, I like I like, I, I like that. Them, them kind of videos is, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up. I like it. Bro, that's the Garden of the Gods. So that I shot that video the same week that I was... That's the one you book. said you had went up in the... I would the Garden of the Gods is then it's called the Man the Man of Two Mountains. It's in Colorado Springs, okay. Colorado. Uh, but the range is called the Garden of the Gods, and it, and it's okay. beautiful. I mean, I shot on location for three days. The last day, um, ironically, the la- it was like the last day when it started snowing, and that's really what I came what I what I wanted to hold. Oh time. man, that that, that looked that looked like it was special effects. I ain't gonna lie, hold that thought. 
Um, Texas in the building, Tampa in the building, Orlando, Ocala, Gainesville. Um, I'm looking at more than one live that I'm on right now. Atlanta's in the building. Um, Connecticut, Damn. New Jersey's in the building. Y'all keep typing them places in, man. You know what I mean? Let them know that y'all tune in. Y'all show a lot of love, love, man. So, man, you already know, man. Oh, California's in the building. Denver's in okay. the building. Um, continue on. I ain't really want to interrupt. You say it starts snowing, and then it starts. That, yeah, it that start, was, it starts that, snowing, bro. And it just, it just looked. It looked like what you, you know what you seen in, in, in the fitness product. So I, right. I was super happy about that. And it gave me like the, the video got like what feel like all four seasons in it. So it just worked out. It, do. That it just it shows do. like this progression of right. like, transition. And we're talking about seed time and harvest. We're talking about sowing and reaping and stuff wow. like that. So it's just dope that you know the divine powers allowed it to work out that way. And now right. with that song coming out first. And I got some, I got, you know, I got some things that I've been cooking uh, that I've been waiting to throw out, but I just know it needs the proper introduction. I know we've been in the industry long enough to know that we just not going to not give everything the type of work that it needs so that it's presented the right, right way and so that it has the right opportunity to have the effect that it can. But, you know, I've been, I've been ahead of my time all my life and the big side effect of being ahead of your time is delayed gratification. So there's music that okay. I wrote that... I, you know, at some point in time, I was like, maybe this wasn't a good song. Maybe I missed it, or maybe this was something that's just for me. And no, it turns out it was ahead of its time, so now it makes sense to everybody. You know what I mean? Right. So this music right. that I wrote I done went through that, bro. Two, three I years went through ago. that. Right. Yeah. You did? Because you were genius. So you was thinking on a genius level, and it just took... When we think on that genius level, we're not operating in time. You know what I mean? Our highest level right. of consciousness... Is right is creativity. That's our God level. When we're operating, there's six levels in, in our consciousness. The highest is creativity. The lowest is memorization. So when we're operating right. in, that, in that God state, we are we're operating outside of time. So sometimes when we come back into it, what we created, it's just it's just ahead of its time. So that so people around you not going to understand it. The wonderful thing about being right. a visionary is that people can't people can't see what you see. The hard thing about being a visionary is that people can't see what you see. So what you got to do is right. just know what you've seen and, and be faithful to yourself. Hold, be, hold yourself accountable to your divinity. I, w- stay I, would, say, that I would say that's a, yeah, I would say it's a blessing and a curse, but it's a blessing and a blessing. Shout out to Pestomologist, man. I like your podcast, bro. Shout out to Coco Hot. She been tuning in from last week and this week. Um, Nebraska's in the building, man. I got I to gotta show love to y'all, man. My entrepreneurs, y'all, y'all really tune in, soaking up a lot of game from him, man. And I needed him to be here because sometimes, I ain't going to say y'all get tired of me, but he, he's so articulate. Like, he speaks in a king dialect that just gives y'all, gives y'all a different perspective, and that's why I definitely had to have him on here. Y'all definitely got to get this manifest. Um, we still got time together. I still got questions. But I'm cutting you short because I really need you to say where it is, the website, the Instagram, the clubhouse, if you got it. Do that, and then I'm going to get back into these questions. Please, King. Okay, absolutely. Everything's at BrianHippolite.com. The name that's on the screen, B-R-I-A-N-H-Y-P-P-O-L-I-T-E.com. Right. At Brian Hippolyte on IG, Twitter, Facebook, Clubhouse. Everything's at Brian Hippolyte. And then the website is BrianHippolyte.com. And that's where you can get the books, um, my classes, my courses, and, and, be a, and subscribe to my community. Um, I never want to go too far without, like, I know, I know they, they, they going ham on all my lives right now. Um, y'all can ask me whatever questions so I can direct it at him. Jesse always got questions. He's a very smart person who's been a legend in my eyes in this city forever just for doing this platform for the up and coming and the most famous Jesse I'm pitching it to you what questions do you have for this guy right now let me know Brian thanks so much for joining us this evening my brother I'm I'm wondering um, with with the books that you put out thus far do you find people are reading 
Is it more audio book driven? What's what's your market uh, like? Uh, I've definitely sold more paperback books than the audio books and the ebooks. Um, I see. I find that there are ears that are that are that are eager to listen, and and mm-hmm. there are people who who are waiting for instruction. So the more that we mm-hmm. can put out in the form of in, an instruction manual, people are wanting to sit down and digest it and figure out how they could do it. Um, I get a lot of uh, a big response from people saying, I read a little bit of this book a day and it's helping me in major ways. And then when, you know, something comes up in my life, I, oh, okay, the book says it somewhere and they flipping through, oh, it, it says right here in Key 33, this is how I deal with being triggered. Let me go back and, you know, and, and rework these steps so I can handle it appropriately. Um, but I also have heard people, uh, heard from people who said that they never experienced a, um, an audio, a audio book, or it was never their choice, you know, fr- prior. But I've been giving away the audio books and the ebooks for the um, pretty much from in the in the, in like the Christmas season rush. So every time someone bought the paperback, I gave them an audio book in the in the in the ebook, and I've gotten a lot of responses from people saying, "I think I'm gonna start doing more audio books, listen to more audio books, because now I can now see the benefit of it. I could just put it in the car and just you know just vibe with it." So I think. Um, it's really on the presentation there, in, in terms of how people are going to want to use it. Okay. And, it, and right now, this is, this is obviously a time that no one has endured before. At least this is, you know, it's like, it sounds like biblical things that we're going through right now with the, you know, right. with the situation that's going on. So do you, do you think this will, you know, I, I've been very, very disappointed in our community, not really. I mean, this has been a long time coming. You know, civil rights movement, uh, segregation, desegregation, everything, and that's still not really, it hadn't really clicked as far as our community really, you know, having an economic base and and, and really kind of harnessing the powers of the community and that sort of thing. When do you think, you know, or what do you think make what will kind of cause that to really happen? I mean, does, does the current circumstance, if, if, you know, can that kind of help the situation? Like when you say cause that to happen, you mean like that shift in our in our yeah. in our community? Yeah. I like think uh, what, what, what we're dealing with now, the knowledge itself. So we'll, we could take we could take it back to like you said, the civil rights. So like my mother's my mother's parents were in the in, in that civil rights era, and so what they passed down to their children was, you know, we was fighting right. for this for this equality. We didn't really get it the way that we wanted, but if you, being my mother's generation, try to look like these people, try to act like these people, try to talk like these people, blend in a little bit more, you know, you going to get a little bit further than that. My parents' generation took that, and that's what they tried to do. They tried to instill that into me and my generation. That shit wore that that wore off. Excuse my language. That that wore off, and we've come back to this place of looking for a knowledge of self. So as we begin to see ourselves in a different light, identify ourselves in a different light, you know, now we are passing that down to our children. So you know, my my children right. know who they are. My children know that there's a power within them that they can see. That is going to allow them to have dominance on this outside world. My children understand they have they have a knowledge of self and where they and where they came from that empowers them that the previous generations didn't have. So I would expect our children to be in a much different position because mentally they're already they're being they're being groomed different. They're having to have it. I'm so a I'm so self. jealous. I'm so jealous, bro. I ain't even trying to cut you off, bro. But I'm so jealous of those who get to see where Brian the the fourth. You understand? With Brian the the seventh, you know what I mean? Like I mean the great great grandkids. I'm so jealous of the people that get to encounter with your great great grandkids or my great great great. Like I want to see what those look like. I want to no different than what I can imagine. What my forefathers or great great grandfather he didn't get to live, right. or he probably survived just a, long enough to get my great great grandmother through that plantation and freed her before right, he right. was hung from a tree, like, but he didn't get to see this right here, he didn't get to see Clubhouse, he didn't get to see Instagram, none of this, but I'm an extension of someone's bloodline, you're an extension of someone's bloodline that's smiling from the grave, you understand, so sometimes I say I get jealous of what we can't see 70 years from now, so that's amazing, man, shout out to Captain Magazine, shout out to New Jersey in the building, um, man, you, you always excite yeah. me, man. Um, 
Jesse, anything else but, you, you know, want to ask since, him? Since you're talking about bloodline, bro, you know, I'm, you know, my, my Haitian bloodline, my great great grandfather's his name is Florel Hippolyte. He was the 15th president of Haiti. He's the man that's on the money. You look at the, the Haitian money, it looks just like me with a receded hairline. It's my great great grandfather. Right. Okay. So, I okay. Come, I come from I come from a re that that revolution bloodline. So like, and before he was the king of Haiti, he was the director of agriculture. And I since going to Haiti and reconnecting with with my roots, come back here, and you already know wow. I'm all about agriculture. I'm all about te you know teaching right. our people how to how to be self sufficient and live on their own. That's the language of kings. So let me ask you this, and, and I don't want to throw you yes, in the sir. corner, or nothing, but you you actually speak Creole, do you? No, sir. No, sir. Nah, we got to get you on that. Y'all gonna, gonna have to forgive me. I was I was raised away from my Haitian heritage. So that's why I said I had to right. go back to Haiti and get reconnected. I was, but it don't even matter. Like, it don't even matter. Too late. How important, never too huh? late. Never too late. But this is how I understand right. how important self-identification is. Because I'm, the understanding I have from Haiti growing up came from American lenses. Oh, it came from Americans' awesome. perception wow. and what America told me about Haiti. So it disconnected right. me from this place and made me not like it, made me be ashamed of it. Could you imagine being ashamed of a place and then getting there and finding out that you want the money and that everybody there knows that you come from the royal family, but you like because you allow somebody else to give you an understanding of your own stuff. So that's why I know. So, it's so basically, go back so basically, we are and know what we so, ba so basically, you're the prince of the moon. Though. So that's what you're trying to tell us. Something like that. So, just, so just, basically, you're Eddie Murphy something over something here. Like that. <laughs> you, you, you know, when I grew up, you, you, I, that's exactly how my sister presented it to people. She made right, it seem like if right. we went back to Haiti, it was going to be rose petals thrown at my at our feet, and that's not that's not how it happened at all. Right. But it was my very right. first day there, an orphan who seen my name tag and just seen that it said H Y P P O L I T E, and he said you from the royal family. Your name is Ipolite, right. and I said no, it's Hippolyte. He said your name is Ipolite. Right. Don't let those Americans tell you how to say your name. I've been right. saying my own name wrong half my well, all my life because I get because it was given to me in someone else's dialect. We gotta connect with our roots and where we come from, because it's power right. in all that. It's power in our words. It's power in the dialect that come out of our tongue. So those were the rose petals That's that were supposed did. to be thrown at my feet that say, "Hey man, you supposed to know who you are." There's strength in all that. And ever since then, right. I've been turning around and showing everybody the same thing. So listen, um, some advice. I need you to get some some advice for those that are looking to level up and be great, man. You've been doing it the whole episode, but something tailor made for them, or even if you want to redirect that for some of my inmates, man, because they stay tuned in, right? And 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 their specific instructions may be different. And I always yeah. want my guests to talk to them. Don't worry about nobody else. I want you to talk to them okay. because a lot of our, our kings in there, they coming home. You heard? Look at me. They coming yeah. home. You heard? And so I need you to, to I need you to get home. them right. And, 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 and we gotta figure out yeah. a way to get manifesting you inside of there. But I don't wanna they I don't wanna over talk you, King. Talk to them real quick. Get them some advice as though they stepping out tomorrow. Okay. Uh, well, Kings, I want to tell you right now, if you're not stepping out tomorrow, the way that I, I switched up my shipping process so that my shipping and my label and my packaging will be accepted at uh, correctional facilities. You know, some of them are, are really sketchy at the way that packages arrive. They got to come from a, you know, from a from a manufacturer, something like that. It's going to come the way that's supposed to so that you can receive it. Um, I always, it's, it's, when I know on the order forms that it's coming to a brother or a sister that's locked up, I'm normally sending an extra book with it. I'm going to fill up the page with some inspiration for you. So, you know, and I appreciate those that reach out to me that that, that got the book um, from inside and, you know, and, and, and I love them enough with it. So to my people that's inside, you know, um, there's a lot of people on the outside world who are more locked up than you are. There's a lot of people out here who have don't have the ability to sit still, get quiet and look inside them. You know, they call that thing that they punish us mm. with solitary confinement because for most people sitting by themselves is not pleasant company. 
but I challenge you and I offer you the ability to sit still within yourself and find that gold that's within you. There's been more gold mined from the minds of men than any other quarry on this planet. So take this opportunity in solitude and not don't use it to your detriment, use it to your benefit. Because there is something great inside you that the world is waiting for. There's things that was put in your path that you might have to heal from so that you can uh, mm. operate the way that you're supposed to as a king. You know, we were scarred early in life. We were lied right. to early in life. We were ripped away from a positive identification so that when we got in certain situations, we wouldn't act like the kings that we were. So now is the time for you to understand who you are so because life going to keep life. They're going to keep throwing things your way and hoping that your triggers take advantage of you. So I'm going to need you to confront your triggers. You can't heal what you hide, King. You can't com you can't right. you can't confront the things that you conceal. So now would be that time to put it all on the table, deal with your hurts, your habits, your right. hangups, so that you could be a powerful, solid being. Be solid with yourself. You can't you can't you can't seek no truth anywhere else if you're still lying to yourself, bro. So right. with all love and admiration, man, I'm telling you, I'm here for you. I'm rooting for you. I'm building the right. kingdom. So when you got out, we got we got something to stimulate your economy. I'm going to look out. You, you, you come out you, and you let me know. We, I'm going to show you the things that I know so that you can build your own economy and take care of yourself. You ain't got to be right. waiting on nobody to give you no opportunity to get yours. But in the meantime, right. you build yourself up. You deal with your triggers. You deal with those things that, that'll make you act out of character and get, all, and get out your square. But you also start to figure out what your purpose is. What is it that you would right. like to do, bro? You know what I mean? What is it? Matter of fact, what is it that you do that you do so well that people always like, you should do that more often. Now, what's that thing that you right. love to do that's a benefit to people? If you can figure out what you do naturally that's a benefit to people, man, you're talking about a, a purpose product. We're talking about a, a divine situation right there. And it's going right. to lead you down to, down, you know, to, to, a, to a whole nother level of existence. Man, definitely, man. I appreciate them gems, man. Um, shot the Shawa, shot the Captain Magazine, sh big shout out to Charlene, Golden Guys, yes. Mario, man, I see you. All the people that's tuned in from their class money, what's up? You already know what it is. Um, the whole Miami, the whole Broward, the whole Palm Beach, the Keys. Yeah. Um, salute to y'all, man. Lord, we in um, here. What's happening? Yeah, we stepping out heavy, man, so. Yeah, that was very impactful, man. We got TGK, we got Metro West, we got Stockade, man. So definitely salute to all the inmates that, that keep us locked and really be tuned in and really be soaking up game and really be taking some of these little gems and they actually write it down so they can see it and, and they can materialize and manifest in their life mm -hmm. um, physically, man. So we love y'all, right. man, um, and, and, and very do. excited. For, for the homecoming, you know what I mean? Because a lot of y'all are coming home, and, and and you said something that was deeper, man, because just because they're incarcerated, that don't mean they even locked up, man. It's all a mind thing, you know what I mean? I don't ever try to tell mm -hmm. nobody in there how to live or nothing, but it's some people that's in, in prison, and they out here. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like, like my free. homie said, man, it, it, it's some people that come home, and they be, and they be free as a bird out here. With no chains, no handcuffs, but they are yeah. in somebody's affidavit or or, or paperwork yeah. in black and white, and here it is. They living in prison right now, always breaking their neck, never com comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? So prison is a is, right. is a is a is a mind thing. So you know, what I mean, definitely salute man, to them, the, man. The, the new slaves um, wear gold chains and shackled minds, bro. Facts and facts, and we got it. We just we, but it's on it's on us to free them. It's on. It's, it's on right. us to frame, and, and and that's what we're gonna keep doing. Whether we're doing it through the books, through through the podcast, through the music, you know, we're just gonna keep right. leading by example. You're gonna gonna right. have, gonna have to because this 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 God lifestyle is is it's not. I won't even say it's in style like it's a trend, but you gonna see the results. Our young our little homies is gonna see the results. Before we we went into right. the street life because we seen the results. These were the only tangible results we could see. That we knew what right. the dope boy was able to do. 
everything else looked like a pipe mm-hmm. dream. We knew what we could get to doing going you know going this right. way we knew the security that we had going into the gang lifestyle or whatever the, whatever the situation may have but now when our right. little homies can see being a man of integrity taking care of your children giving to the community educating people and you blessed and you riding in that thing you want to be and you got on what you want to okay i want to be That's like gangster. that it's cool to be a guy right. it's cool it's cool to not just be somebody else's plan for yourself it's cool to be what you were supposed right. to be, and that's what we—that's what we're going to show them. Right, man, man, being, being, this manhood ain't never gonna go out of style. I be trying to tell these young guys, man. I don't, I don't know man. where some of y'all lost it at, but it's attractive to smell like a man, look like a man, feel like a man, and then be respected right. like a man. Like versus, it versus, you know what I mean? Yeah, you could, you could play these certain roles, but at the end of the day, you know who you need to yeah. be and who God calls you to be and, and what your right. purpose is, man. So it does feel good to just, like, even being a family man, I'm like, bro, like, you know how many of my young guys I was out there with when I was 15, 16, 19, and I'm like, oh, yeah, they got that YOLO mind frame, but it's like, bro, a lot of them, they got their lips sold together, just laying in the grave mm-hmm. right now, at 19 and yeah. 20, they'd love to be where I'm at yeah. right now, yeah? Like, I'm looking right, forward right. to having great health. You hear me? Like, I'm looking forward to, like, Absolutely. being I'm, a I'm grandfather one day. You I'm loving this right now. Yeah. It feels good. Man, I seen, I seen, I seen T.I. posted a picture of him with, with his, with his first grand, grandchild laying on his chest. And says and his caption says something like, you know, to the, to the young boys, like, growing old is cool or something like that. And I'm right. like, man, that's so, that, that's so, that's so solid. They want to, you know, my But we don't push solid. that narrative. To, Right, and we but we got to we got right. to it wasn't until I and it wasn't until until I had a kid five years ago that I even thought about living old enough to be a grandfather because I wanted to see her right. with her kid, you know. Before that, right. it was like we we just we just lived, but right. absolutely to be a man of respect, to be a man of provision. Don't tell me about what I don't care right. about what you got, what you provide, what do you what do you provide? How many households right. is benefiting off of the work of your hands? How can people right. come to you when they in need and and, and and get provisions? You know, God's creating right. self-sustaining atmospheres. So wow. you either doing that or you're working on your kingship. But even the king gonna take care of the kingdom. That's why they say heavy is the right. head that wears a crown, because the weight of the kingdom is heavier than the weight of the king the king's head. You did what I'm saying? So right. being able to operate with a kingdom minded principle is going to make you move in a different way. Right. And that's just Come on something now. Can't, Come on, know, preacher. Some some things can't be taught. You you just going you just going to have to see right. somebody walk it out. You better so get it. And you better get it fast. Walk, walk it out. Yeah. Right. You better get it fast yeah, too. Like real to talk. So we. Right. You, <laughs> facts. Okay. <laughs> as a serial entrepreneur, creative, family man, how do you manage all this? Because you gave me a lot, but you just one body. How you fit all that in that little canister? Man. <laughs> Man, I, I, I pour into myself just as much as I pour into everyone else. Um, and if that means I right. have to be up, I'm normally up before the sun. You cannot, listen, you cannot wake up with the world and think you're going to run the world. You got to be up ah. before. So I'm, Come I'm, on, I'm, 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 I'm up before people but, in yeah. other time zones than me. I'm getting to it. <laughs> you hear me? Right. I'm out, I'm, I'm, I'm out here making it happen. And... You can't get so up with the world day. and think you're gonna be ahead of the world. How you gonna do it? Yeah, it ain't. It ain't it's not going. It's not gonna happen at all. You gonna because uh, you're right. gonna wake up reacting. I know if I wake up when my right. kids wake up, I'm gonna be reacting to the to their to their demands. Let alone the rest right. of the world. Right. So. We, Come we on, Jade. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we, we gotta be up before that and maximize time. Oh so whether God, it's that's dangerous. Tending myself and getting myself together, or you know, on, on this on this uh, board right here on the on the side of me, it has all of the businesses written down. Every day of the week, it has a, a section for my heart's priorities, my soul's goals, and my to do list. So every day, I'm looking at this board and saying what's on it. But I also have to co- think about the audibles that I have to call, because there might be something right. from yesterday that didn't get accomplished. That needs life to be gonna keep life. Or it might be a. What's that? Life is gonna keep life. In. Life is gonna keep life. In. So you gotta be prepared right. for it. And being prepared means being proactive to how you going what you gonna do, 
what you gonna do with it? So being right. prepared for it to to be life means all right. Let me let me call this audible so I can take care of this, so I can take care of that. So my mama got the care that he she needs. The the kids got you know the care that they need. My lady get the care that she need, and I get the care that we need right. because you can't pour out from an empty cup. Right. So to answer your question, how do I do it? I fill up my cup, and when I know I need to fill up my cup more, when I'm getting tired. When all of a sudden my kids are starting to aggravate me because that, that means daddy's tired. That means daddy's, you know, all out of it and daddy needs to refill right. himself. Uh, and, and so but pouring into myself gives me the, and, and, and then operating out, out of purpose. You know, like when you right. make your music, bro, you don't got to, um, you don't care about eating. You might not smoke. You might not, you know, do any, you don't care about sleeping. You are in your element. I keep surrounding myself right. in the elements that just give me energy, give me inspiration. And, you know, and before I know right. it, we two, three days in and I'm like, man, I got to get some sleep for real. <laughs> but, right. but, you know, we just make it happen. We make it happen. Right. I'm working on a 20 year plan right now. So, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about sleeping in, 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 in another few years, but, uh, but we work in this 20 year plan pretty aggressively right now. Right. Right. Man, look at here, man. To look at yourself today and look at yourself last year or five years ago, sometimes what I need from you is take some of that time out, man, and really praise yourself and give yourself a hug. Take yourself to mm. a dread spa take and get a hot stone massage and really say, King, you really, really in a different position today than you were last year or five years ago. The same way you planted ahead, your 20-year plan, I want you to look back 20 years ago and just really adore the fact of who you are because, man, like, we got to do it for us. This man-man talk, this king-king talk, like, because I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to Jesse because Jesse is somebody I admire from a father standpoint, from a business standpoint. Um, People like Shawada's on my live, like, I've, I've been blessed to see the evolution of, you know, certain people, man, and that's my fuel. You know what I mean? To know, I know who Shawai is today, but I know who she was five years ago, ten years ago. I know who you was at the open mic a couple years ago. I know who Jesse was when he had the little spot over there with Power 96 to this went bad, but this went great. And then he had the other spot right. over here, and then the spot by the strip club. and then, Like, dog, that's my fuel. You know what I mean? And, dog, luckily yeah. I've been blessed to get reintroduced to you in my life and dog you did so much for me since I met you re-met you because I knew you for a long time but we just never had that that relationship but God and the right. universe seen when it was supposed to happen and then I probably wouldn't have Absolutely. valued you how I should have at a, at a different point in time no different in relationships like the woman that you adore right, right now right. or the mother of your children right now, if you met her when you were 16, you probably would have hit her with a slingshot or a rock or you probably wouldn't have took her to the movies or you probably would have cheated right, on right. her or whatever. You, you, you understand you what I'm saying? Seen the but right now, right, you didn't see the value. So that's what I'm saying to you. Like, I'm big on giving roses while we here because I bury too many. I got too many obituaries here. I got too many T-shirts. So, like, right. I'm just saying that to say that, man, because I know we ain't got a lot of time, real, but this is the least of a gift that I could have gave you to open you up to a different set of people that you're not used to having. You understand what I'm saying? We didn't exchange no money. Yeah. There ain't no invoices here. You understand? This was yeah. me digitally shaking your hand saying, bro, I see you. I've been seeing you. Hell, like, this TV show is a part of the, the, the plan that, that you have for me, and the, you gave me this in November to say, okay, this is 60 day plan. This is me giving you that back. And this ain't even, this still ain't even Respect My Grind TV. This is just Respect My Grind Live, us having a chop up session. So I take my hat off to you and, and, and say, I appreciate you, homie. Like, real talk, man. I appreciate you, King. I appreciate your execution. Because, like you said, we talked about this months ago. Before this, you know, you you took this out your mind and put it in your possession. And that's why I talk about in the book. You know, that's why I be talking about in Manifest University. So to have right. a conversation with you and you say, all right, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I got in my scope. And I'm going to execute it by this date and this time. 
and you put in all the legwork and everything that you had to do, moving your schedule around, creating that space and availability for yourself. Right. And now we here, you know. So salute to you as well, bro. Right. I appreciate you. You already know I'm, I'm super honored. I, I, I get. I get geeked every time, you know, we go, I go into it, and I don't even go out that much anymore. But when I do go out and a grind mode song come on, I'm super, I'm super mm-hmm. geek. I'm so, I'm mm-hmm. super geek. So, like, just to just to be um, the heroes that we are in our respective areas right. uh, of, uh, in, in, in this region of the country for the things that we've done um, just in the music, but in front of the camera right. and behind the camera. Um, to right. take it beyond that and uh, and really start to show our people the multi dimensions that you know that we have and walk in them with respect and integrity and, and, and be able to do it side by side, shaking hands and, and everybody elevating together, man, is right. We the new Black Panthers, bro. We the new, we 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 the new way. Yeah. And uh, I'm honored right. to be standing standing beside you, bro. For real, for real. So now. Before we get up out of here, I don't know where uh uh Big Sexy got lined up. Is is um is there anything that we didn't touch on that you need touched on or that you want to just disperse amongst ears and eyes that's out here right right now while while you got these people attention? Um, Manifest University. We spoke about a lot. Manifest University. I know. I know. We we touched on it. Um, I just wanted to emphasize the the powerhouse that it's becoming as I keep leveling right. up, you know, because you attract what you are. So lately I've been attracting some phenomenal right. beings, some phenomenal minds, and it's just becoming this melting pot um, with other life coaches, other mentors, uh, great philosophers and thinkers, excuse me, and, and creators. Um, so it's a great place to be to evolve. It's a great place to be to mm-hmm. uh, to stretch yourself, um, and it's something that I'm pouring a lot of my time into because right. this is a tribe that I'm going to create a hundred black millionaires out of. It's a part of my career, right. a part of my purpose. I'm going to see a hundred million by creating a hundred millionaires, and and right. I'm showing them step by step to do it. Last year was my first six figure year as a, as a serial entrepreneur, six figure earner. A year, and and like I said, I'm working on this 20 year plan, so I'm already on track to do that again this year because the because the projection plan is much bigger this time. Uh, but I'm right. showing everyone what I did last year to get me to where you know where I'm at. So the plan, the motive, the objections to create a hundred black millionaires, and and so shooting along that shooting for something so so great and so powerful, uh, I'm pouring a lot of my time, efforts, and resources into building phenomenal beings. Um, Right. So definitely join man, you know, join Manifest University so you can be a part of this elevation. Um, outside of that, right. um, I got more music coming and more books, more courses, more classes, and you know, and, and, and all that great great things. But my primary focus is going to be elevating my tribe for two thousand and twenty one. Right. Man, that's still good, yeah. man. Hey man. I appreciate you. Y'all definitely follow uh Respect My Grind TV. Definitely follow Grind Mode, um, Grind Mode Chaos. Oh yeah, back to the attire. Raise them up 2020. They got a lot of black shirts, man. I told Dog to mail okay. me um some shirts, man. So they really it's a black owned company. You know, every week I've been trying to rock, you know, this blackness to let them know, like, listen, man, stop playing like I gotta wear some designers from the other folk when I got people that and rock stuff that's going to match my joy. Is you feel me? Or match, right. match my, right. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I dig it, man. I see them black fists on there, man. So definitely raise them up 2020. Y'all can check them out on Instagram. You can uh, definitely check us out on at Video Mix TV. Um, some of y'all are logged on the website. Some of y'all are going by way of my live, my Facebook, my Instagram, all that, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, definitely do more and more will happen, man. That's all I can yeah. press to y'all. You got to do more, man. Like, you can't just keep doing. No different than what he said. I'm piggybacking off that. 
You can't do the same at the same time and expect something different than the rest of the world. You got to do more and more will happen, man. And that's, and that's my slogan for the day, man. Like, I really need y'all to go hard, man. I really been going hard on Clubhouse. And uh, my, my followers are, like, going through the roof on Clubhouse. And now I think I, I gained another uh, 1,300 over there. And I gained, like, 1,000 yeah. on Instagram in the last almost three weeks. So the, it's crazy, you know man. I used right? to average about you know 15, right? 20. Yeah, 15, 20 messages a week. Now I'm 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 battling 150 messages right now. Like, but I'm trying to respond yeah. to everybody. So, man, I, be patient, man. man Please, I man. So, I, I know that. Yeah, worse. like it. It is, and I don't got no assistant. It ain't no sidekick. The little chick on my um room the other day, she was like, "You be answering your messages because it be sounding like personalized." Like, I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." Like. You're like, oh, I thought you would have had, like, your manager. But you grind more. I'm like, girl, I'm regular. Stop playing with me. Like, like right. I ain't there right. yet. No, like, I'm a, I'm a, you know I'm what I mean? So, I'm a, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, man. Here. And it, and it, and it, I'm a, I'm and it feels good. Yeah, it feels yeah. good, like, still campaigning and kissing babies and shaking hands and, and, and being out with my people. Bro, and, t- and touching and connecting yeah. and, and, feel, and feeling the energy, feeling the vibe, right. man. And plus, you know, as serial entrepreneurs, bro, we battle that stereotype that black business, you know, has these deflects and these flaws. Like, you know, our products right. ain't going to be right or our customer service ain't going to be A1. So, you know, with, even right. with, with my other online stores, with waste, WasteDownErotics.com or My Black Depot, my other right. two online stores, um, you right. know, they're going to get inquiries. They're going to get customer service inquiries and stuff like that. Plus, you know, Waste Down Erotics, that's a, that's a sex store. You know they get all kind of injuries right. all day uh, for people <laughs> ask, right. asking questions, but or, or might have a, a, a issue with the product. But the fact that right. I'm so proactive just to answer that email and and give them right. a great impression that they should get as a king or queen coming into my establishment. You know what I mean? Just I, right. I'm doing it every day intentionally for them to respond back like, man, that's what's up. Right? No, you, you you straight. I wait for the product to get here. I was just checking in. Whatever the case might it be. Go, it you know it, it mean, definitely bro? goes a long ways, man. It definitely goes a long ways, man. Like, we actually got a wrap-up. We're going to get to some more videos. But, um, yeah, BNImpact.com, at BNImpact. Um, telling people how to get in contact with you before we get out of here, man. Yeah, one more time. BrianHippolite.com. B R I A N H Y P P O L I T E Brian Hippolyte dot com at Brian Hippolyte on every platform. Right. Guys don't sit on man made thrones. It's streaming live everywhere, but of course, Title pays us the best. So if you go on streaming anywhere, streaming on Title, it's also available. My singles available at BrianHippolyte dot com. The exclusive music video is streaming exclusively at BrianHippolyte dot com. You get the books, the audio books, the e-books, the affirmation audio set, my classes, my courses, and, of course, membership to my community, Manifest University, the mighty MU. Come through and get this daily connection, right. elevation, and move to the next level with us. That's what we do. Man, again, I appreciate you, King. Jesse, take us out of here, man. Be blessed, man. We out of here, man. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Y'all be safe, be powerful, stay dangerous. Black, black, yeah.